Hi there, it's Sine Naylor, and today's unscripted video is about WordPress's menus and widgets. Now, I'm going to show you something that I'm trying to resolve on my blog, and I thought I'd record this uh, because I'm sure that I'm not the only one having problems with this. So, if you're ready, come on, let's get started. Okay. First of all, here we are on my main blog, and you'll notice that it's divided into basically four sections, which is fine. It's really tight. They don't have to scroll an awful lot to get to the content. But I noticed when reviewing my portfolio, I was actually adding a new entry, uh, I noticed that I had something happening here on the right-hand sidebar. In other words, my content, uh, if we scroll down, you'll see that my content ends and my sidebar continues for a bit. Now, I have a couple of options. One, I can increase the number of posts that are visible in this category, or I can reduce the size of my widgets. Now, I noticed um, that you know I have an awful lot of information repeating here in my quick navigation area. Now, my quick navigation is actually a custom menu that repeats what's happening right up here. Well, I don't necessarily want to repeat everything, so I thought what I'd do is I would create a small custom menu that reflected only the things I wanted to add to my sidebar. With the advent of WordPress 3.0, that's now possible. So if you'll notice, in addition to my main blog, I have open my widgets page and my menu page. So here's what I want to propose. I want to, instead of using this menu, the menu that says uh, pull in you know, the primary menu, I actually want to create one that I can use in its place that doesn't re repeat everything that I want repeated. So I think what I can do is repeat the, the key pages that are important to me and then add a category widget item that is a drop down. This will help me buy back some of this space. Now, you might be saying, well, it's just real easy with Elegant Themes to increase the number of posts that will be displayed here. And while that's true, I also know from a navigational standpoint that not everybody will scroll to the bottom. So I want to keep as much of, uh, at the top side of the site as possible uh, because I don't want them their, their interest flagging. I don't want them clicking off and leaving, obviously. So, first thing we're going to do is use WordPress's 3.0 menu system to create a new menu. Now, I'm going to click this little plus sign, and this is going to give me a blank container, which I need to name. I'm going to call this the same thing I want it to appear on the sidebar. Now, although this is not technically necessary, because with widgets, I can name it anything I want. Um, so this is going to be, I'm going to go ahead and call it My Services because I, that's what I'm going to put here. This is the important thing to me that gets repeated down below. So by clicking Save, I now have an empty container for everything I want to add to that location. Now, you'll notice right here that my theme only supports one menu. I don't care about that. I'm not actually going to be adding this to the theme. I'm adding this to the sidebar. And I can have as many of these as I want. So now that I've got the empty container, I'm going to go view all of my services. And I'm going to go start adding them to that menu. So I'm going to start with the one that I want uh, everything to be a child of. And by child, I mean I want it uh, indented so that everything appears underneath this category. Okay, now that services are here, I can actually go through and pick and choose several of these at once. And I do want to highlight my bracking wall. I'm going to go add these to the menu. And it's going to line them all up here on the left-hand side, like so. So all I'm able to, or all I have to do now, is click, drag, and I'm looking at the little dashed line underneath it. When it appears at the indent level I want, I release. So I'm just going to drag them all one indent in to the services menu. I'm going to finish all of these, and then I'm going to rearrange them. Okay. So because uh, the menu system is drag and drop, I can put them in whatever order that I want them in. In other words, I can put SEO service uh, down below. I can put my portfolio and my bragging wall together. 
I can put the consultations that I'm doing, and then I'm also going to put my most popular service up here. So now this this is looking pretty good to me. So all I'm going to do now is save this menu. And now that it's saved, I have a container that I can use in the widget area, which I'm just going to refresh this page so that I can see it now, uh, because this page was open before I created it. So under navigation, I now have my services available. Now I can change the title, uh, or I can leave the title blank. And if I leave the title blank, it's going to use the header that's associated with that menu item. Um, so I'm just going to reduce that to services, save this, and now I'm going to go refresh this page. Now, this is step one. Uh, remember I mentioned there are two steps. One was creating the menu and adding it to the sidebar. The other thing I want to do is I, I do want to repeat the um, categories that are available. So I can put the categories right here and repeat that because I want them to see it. Uh, now you'll notice that I have, uh, now my sidebar is much shorter and my content continues on. One, two additional posts below uh, the level of the category, or the level of the sidebar. So I'm going to go add the drop down for the category. And then if I'm still two below, I'm going to go reduce the number of these that appear in this list. So in order to accomplish this, two things. One, I go back to the widgets area, I locate the category item, categories, it's right here. So I'm going to click, drag, and drop it and put it right below services. And then I'm going to choose to display this as a drop down. In other words, I don't want there to be an awful lot of, you know, I just don't want it to drag on and on and on down the page. I want to provide them with a drop down so that they can see the full list, but leave my sh sidebar short and sweet. I am going to give this a new name uh, to let them know what they'll find here. So if I save this, and now we refresh, it should drop down just a little bit here. It does. And see, underneath my services, I now have article topics. So again, I'm giving them navigational methods to find the rest of my content, but I'm not dragging it on and on and on so that it's, you know, 97 pages deep. Now, the last thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go tell my theme to stop displaying the final two on this page. Now, this is a category page, so I'll need to uh, update with this particular theme, with elegant theme. I have an option to just choose the number of items that will appear on a specific page. That's on the General Set tab. So I'm going to scroll down. There are several categories. There is the number of posts displayed on the category page, which is what I want. I want to take that down to 10. And since archives and searches and, and tags are all the same, I'm going to reduce them all to 10. So if I save this and then refresh this page once again. Okay, now that this refresh is complete, we'll see that the sidebar, of course, ends, hopefully, about the same time our content does. And it does. So you might be saying to yourself, um, you know, maybe I want more of my content to display. And while that's certainly your choice, I, on the other hand, don't. Uh, I'm okay with them having to page back to see some of the older content. Uh, I do want things to kind of be fresh and quick moving here on the home or on the first page of this content. So just to recap, I've shortened the sidebar by removing that really long uh, navigational menu. I replaced it with a shorter one that had the important things that I wanted to include on that page. I, because I did want my uh, blog categories to be repeated, I did bring them in in the form of a drop down that takes up much less space. They can still see all of my categories. They can still go click and navigate and bring up any category they want, but it's not occupying an awful lot of space here on my uh, on the sidebar of the main page. So I hope this has helped. This has been a video on using WordPress's uh, 3.0 menuing system and widgets to help craft the look and feel of your blog. Until next time, this is Sine signing off.